That is an absurd amount of money for this recipe. Who in the right man would pay for something like this? I would. Hello everybody. My name is Bloody Elevator. The Torto Drone event is currently taking place. But we're not going to fight them just yet. Because our current loadout isn't fit to take on the Torto Drones yet. Let's check the auction house and see if anyone's selling a Polaris recipe. Forty thousand crowns? That is way too much for us to pay for. Forget the auction house. Let's try our luck at the arcade and try to make it to level 23, where all the five star recipes are sold. Here we are, level 23. Hello, Basil. Do you have any Polaris recipes? No Polaris. Oh well. Let's try this one again. Hello again, Basil. And nothing of use here. Maybe this time. Nope. That's not a good selection, Basil. Basil, this is getting ridiculous. And Basil has a wildfire, which is the fire version of the Polaris. Once more. Basil, buddy, please. Ugh, no good. No Polaris recipe here. Alright, this time for sure. Oh, come on now. You have a supernova instead of a Polaris? This is ridiculous. Okay, let's try something else. Maybe we can try our luck on the Spire Knights forum. Is it even still active? Let's find out. We could try Basil a few more times, but going through the tier 3 arcade takes about 10 to 20 minutes to reach Basil. Let's go to the bazaar. Oh, it is still active. Let's see if anyone here is selling a Polaris or a Polaris recipe. 6500 energy for Polaris. I mean, I guess they do make it for you, but still, that's too expensive. Maybe the auction house is the way to go. That is an absurd amount of money for this recipe. Who in the right mind would pay for something like this? I would. Whatever the case, we have a recipe now, and that's all that matters. Now, now we just need to learn this recipe, and then we can craft it. As you see here, we've already maxed out our 4 star gigawatt pulsar. So, we can definitely make the Polaris now. Now we just need to unequip it, and let's get crafting. It would appear that we're missing a few ingredients. Also, we have no money. Before I grind for money, let's see if the auction house has any of these crafting materials. Storm Chaser... 8,000 crowns? That's not happening. Thunderball... A bit more affordable? Yet we still can't afford this. Time to go grinding for money at the arcade. We're grinding at the arcade for a few reasons. One, in hopes that we run into enemies that drop the crafting materials that we need to make the Polaris. And two, 
I'm trying to get as many glyphs as I can for the upcoming boss fight. Now I know that I could have gotten the Antigua and made a piercing weapon for fighting the fiends, but I do need a weapon that can push enemies back because the combination of fiends either chasing you or throwing junk at you is very annoying while fighting an already difficult boss. I fought the Torta Drones boss several years back and they were not easy. They hit hard and can easily overwhelm you. So after doing everything I could to get the materials needed, I think we now have all the crafting materials that we need to craft the Polaris. Wait, what? Alright. I bought this from the auction house. Okay, forget what I said a few seconds ago. Now! We can make the Polaris. So. When I originally made the 3 star version of this weapon, I was lucky enough to get a very high charge time reduction variant from crafting this weapon. Now, we have a Polaris with a very high charge time reduction. This weapon took way too long to make. Now, let's equip it and start heating this thing up with a test drive. I know I said earlier that this series might get shelved for the time being because I ran out of bosses to fight. Thankfully, the Total Drone event was open by the time we were at the last few bosses. I'm not sure if I should change my armor equipment for the Torta Drones, as the Chaos Cowl and Chaos Cloak should be enough. The Swift Strike Buckler might give us the edge we need in order to fight off the Torta Drones. The Torta Drone is a very difficult mini boss, and I'm gonna have to do my best to prepare for this boss fight. Maybe I'll have to make a few more equipment crafting videos. Or just going straight into the boss fight. We'll see. Maybe the next video will be the Torta Drones boss fight. My equipment is currently not maxed out yet, and I'm occasionally making rookie mistakes when fighting enemies, so please be patient with me. <laughs> the Polaris. It's an elemental weapon that gets stronger if the target is far enough away. And it deals shock damage, which can stop enemies from moving. Alternatively, we could try for a long-range piercing weapon, like the Gilded Griffin, or the Rift Locker. But this was the best that I could think of at the moment. So, we'll just have to settle for a Polaris. I'm trying to get as many glyphs as I can for the upcoming boss fight. Now I know that I could have gotten the Antigua and made a piercing weapon for fighting the fiends, but I do need a weapon that can push enemies back because the combination of fiends either chasing you or throwing junk at you is very annoying while fighting an already difficult boss. I fought the Torta Drones boss several years back and they were not easy. Now let's level up the Polaris as much as we can, before the boss fight. It's a start, at least. 
Speaking of start, if you enjoy this video, please start by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And I think that's all I can share with you for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching.